Again, it's Maria from HockeyTrainingPro.com and RapidResponseGoalieTraining.com. And as promised earlier in the week, here's the exercise that I learned from the Dr. Stu McGill course that gets um, like five to ten times more activation of the rectus abdominis or these middle abdominal muscles towards the surface. Crunches only get that muscle working 10 to 20 percent of its maximum ability. This next exercise, he measured it um, with electromyography, so measuring the electrical activity of the muscle, um, and this gets the thing firing full up 100%. And like I mentioned again earlier in the week, um, my abs were pretty sore the day after we did this one. Now the big thing, and I know that some of you are going to try and say, oh yeah, well I can do that, and I did it, so that's not that hard. The key is to do it perfectly. So if we're talking core stabilization, that means your torso doesn't, doesn't round, it doesn't extend, it doesn't twist, it doesn't shift, nothing. It's perfectly stable. The only thing moving here is your arms. So yeah, anybody can do it wrong. I can pick up a guitar and just play it terribly, like so your ears will bleed. That doesn't mean I'm playing the guitar, okay? so. Pay attention to the technique, go slowly, have somebody watch you, have them put their hand on your back. It shouldn't be moving around. So I'm going to show you my best reps um, with my still sore abs. But basically you'll start from your push up position. So my hips can't roll side to side, I shouldn't be lifting or lowering my butt, anything like that. I'm going to put my feet a little bit wide, I'm bracing with my abdominals like crazy and I'm even squeezing my glute muscles and trying to make that connection across my body. And then I'm taking baby, baby steps. That's about as far as I can go. And then I'm coming back. Okay, so I don't want any movement. I'm going slowly. I'm taking baby steps. I'm bracing here and I'm squeezing my butt muscles and I'm doing that hand walk out. Only go far enough that you feel in your abdominals. If you feel straining in your back, it means you're trying to go too far and you're probably actually losing form even though he might not be aware of it. So uh, that's a way you can get great rectus abdominis activation while working your core stability. Thanks so much for watching. This is Maria from HockeyTrainingPro.com. Happy training. Let's go!